welcome Louisa here from Crossing with Louisa and today I'm going to show you a little cracker treat box that I made using my new envelope punch board. Um, this isn't my idea, there are loads of videos on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you that with... I've just used little um, treats from Tesco for any small treat. It's one and a half inch square, so if there's something else that you want to fit in there, and, and I've managed to fit two of those sweets in, and I've just tied it with some ribbon and put a little embellishment on. So, you'll need obviously an envelope punch board. Um, the paper I'm using, I'll leave a link for it, is um, The Gift of Christmas. An absolutely gorgeous paper with lots of foils and sparkles and lovely stuff in. So, You'll need a piece of paper, six and a half by eight. And if you've got a pattern, if your pattern's directional like this was, you want that bit to be the eight inch bit. So the pattern needs to go the eight inch way, if that makes sense. So you've got it eight inches by six and a half. So if you put it in, your scoreboard. I'm just using my Martha Stewart mini. At the six and a half up, you're going to score it at one and a half intervals. So you're going to score it at one and a half. Three. Four and a half. And six. So that little tab at the end is going to be the bit that glues it together. So you've got it like that and then you're going to rotate it so you've got the 8 inch wide. Obviously this doesn't fit on this school board. And then you're going to score it at 1.5, 2, 2.5. And, and then you're going to flip it around so you've got the other side of the 8 inch up, you've still got the 8 inch up and then you're going to score that at 1.5, 2 and 2.5. So hopefully you can see those score lines. I'm, I'm going to do it that side up but I think it's easier to see that. So get rid of the scoreboard. Then you'll need a bone folder because you're going to fold on those lines that way that are the one and a half inch ones so fold those that way and you can burnish that if you want and then the other score lines we're going to deal with in a minute so fold it on there because those score lines there are going to be these bits in here, but it's easier to punch it before you do that. So, what you're going to do is, um, I hope you can see the score lines, I'm going to punch at two inches, which is where that middle line is. So if you've altered this, as long as you're punching on that middle line. Now that is tough paper because this is such nice paper this. So you're going to do that all the way along. Now if you don't have a punch board um, you can still do this. You'll just have to go in and do a snip. So I'm going to do that there as well. 
So don't worry if you haven't got a punch board. And then I'm going to flop that over and do that there. So then you're going to line that up at two and go all the way along. Now I should have stood up and did this, done this because it'd be easier to punch. Because this is, if you can hear that, it's really nice quality. It's almost like cardstock. Um, and if anybody can think of what you do with a punch up, bits, let me know. Because it must be a use. And then the last one at two. Um, there must be something to do with those. So if anybody knows. <laughs> okay, so then what we're going to do is that middle score line. So you've got that one, that one and that one. You're going to fold the middle score line that way. Okay. And then you're going to score that one down there. Okay. And then you're going to fold it back. And then I can flip it over and fold the whole thing inwards. So you've basically got like an M shape. Hopefully you can see that. Oh yeah. So you've got a mountain valley mountain basically. Okay. And then you need to get some glue. Any more glue, sticky strip. I've just got my snail here. Ease. And then what you want to do is fold that like that and then fold that to meet. And then you can stuff it with goodies. So, and then you can squash that in a bit. And then I'll have cool coconut which I'm sure you can all figure out what that is a copy of <laughs> um, and I've lost my big scissors oh, right, yeah. and this actually takes two of these so even yummier these would be great and then I've got a cool a wild whippy and a cool mint and what I might do with this I might use some baker's twine I've used ribbon on the other one. In fact, I might use ribbon and baker's twine. Let's get some little snips. And I find it easier to tie one end of this first and then put your treats in and then um, and then tie the other end. Oops. So I'm going to do two together. And I just did this in a double knot. Didn't do a bow. You could do. Usual nice snips to downstairs. Now we we'll want to be careful not to put something too small in here because it might fall out. As you can see there, so you don't want anything smaller than that hole. And I don't want to do it too tight because I don't want to damage the paper. But a mini version. Ooh. If you want me to do like a um, mini version to go on your tree, let me know. And I can do a tutorial on that, that would be kind of cute. Now I forgot to mention, I have, that's where the opening is, so I haven't tied the knot by that opening. I should have said that before, and then you just want to cut that. Put a nice angle, trim that, trim that, 
then should be a little treat season. Now you might want to manipulate that. So I'm going to cut another lump for this. Um, it could do this in a bow, but I rather like it just in a knot if it looks neat. Hmm. Hmm. My goodness, I think I'm all fingers and thumbs here. You should never tie a ribbon on a video. There you go. You see, that's tight as a dare without damaging the paper. And I've just done it in a double so it doesn't um, Come undone. It might come undone, but it shouldn't. You could put a little mini glue dot on that actually if you were worried. But you do want to be able to get into that as well without damaging it really. Because you could use this again. And without all the ribbon on it, it will fall flat as well. So if you're maybe not at home for Christmas and you wanted to. A few bits. Okay, I think I'm going to put some of these on or poinsettia. Where are they? Are? Except I've lost the poinsettia. So I suppose it won't be a poinsettia. No, it'll have to be a tree. Never mind. And I'll just put, put these up anywhere. You don't have to put that on, that makes it looks rather cute. There you go. I should probably find the point setters in a minute now that I've done that. But anyway, okay, so that's our little Treat box. Really easy to make. I've done mine with the punch um, with the envelope punch board. If you haven't got that, just why use it to punch? Just cut a notch out of it. Um, and you could also cut a notch on the ends to make it frilly, or look really nice if you did a border punch on it. But I quite like it plain, especially if you're going to put ribbons and embellish it and everything. So. Thank you for watching. I'll leave a link to the blog post and everything that I've um, used as well. Um, and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.